the previous video, we worked on the refer a friend module, which was module number two in the guide. In this video, we'll be working on adding a new transfer module to the same project, the Arcadia Finance. We'll be doing that by deploying a transaction module into a Cloud C. We'll use Azure, VNet number two in this case, but you can also use AWS, and then we'll activate it. The end result is going to be a completed application just like this. In the guide, you have everything to get started, including the Terraform instructions as before to deploy the services into public Cloud C. Notice that it has two different sites which will be connected with the L3 layer 3 connection using F5 distributed cloud sites. And we will see how easy it is to connect two different networks or two different clouds using a F5 distributed cloud. To start, you need Terraform once again, as we did before in the first and second module. And I'm going to pick Azure here. And the good news is that all the configuration we've done before, so all of the things to log in, retrieve subscriptions, etc., we can leverage in this deployment. So the subscription ID, for example, already is deployed and exported. And all we need to do is copy the Terraform script and the certificate that was previously used in our Cloud B into the current project, which is going to be in Cloud C. So let's start first with making sure we're in the right working directory. This is the root with Cloud A, B, and C. Let's change under Cloud C Azure, and you can see what's there now. I just want to make sure that our subscription variable is still set. So let's try to echo it and there it is. So all looks good. And let's just take a look at all the subscriptions and just also make sure we're in the right account. All looks good. So now we can start editing our Terraform script in the uh, Cloud C. But as I mentioned before, let's bring up Cloud B Terraform script, which was also Azure next to Cloud C. So let's open up the Cloud C script here and you can see them side by side with left side having some pre-filled values from before we will keep the description and the environment the same and then just copy over variables such as the api url for distributed cloud which is the tenant uh, that we used previously we'll use the same thing here and the certificate that was downloaded we can leverage in this cloud deployment as well now, make sure that at this point you copy that certificate over to the right cloud. So now we are in cloud C and I'm going to copy over the certificate just so that the reference becomes valid. The Terraform script will use that certificate to connect to a five distributed cloud. Now you can change other variables inside the file. For example, the location of the deployment. So West US is our choice here, but you can update it to the region of your choosing. And as before, we need to copy certain values. So um, the Azure subscription ID, the tenant ID information, and also the service principle app ID. The service principle was what we created in the previous video uh, where we deployed originally the module to into Cloud B being Azure. And this is what allows us to very quickly create resources within the Azure environment. If you are doing this Azure deployment right now for the first time, you haven't done the previous um, Cloud B or Cloud A deployment in Azure, then you can just review the second video from the series. All right, so at this point, it looks like we have all the information copied over. Um, and this is the Azure credential and Azure configuration info to now be able to run this Terraform script. Uh, you can run Terraform in it if you haven't deployed any before, but you should have already done previously in the module one and two. Uh, this is just for completeness and the more important command, which is Terraform apply. This will now take the information that you specified for the target cloud into Azure, as well as deploy the virtual machines required and the services, specifically the transaction module service, to be deployed in the VM environment on Azure as well. It also connects to a five distributed cloud and sets up the site configuration for our Cloud C being in the Azure VNet 2. And this takes a few minutes. We have sped it up for uh, the demo. Uh, if we go back under app site list in the correct namespace, you'll be able to see our new site is being provisioned. And this takes a few minutes, so go grab a coffee and 
come back in maybe five to 10 minutes, we'll see that our cloud C goes from provision to upgraded status to eventually green and ready, meaning that we can now continue with our progress and finish the deployment of the layer three connectivity multi-cloud networking between this site and the core application deployed in Amazon. Let's do that now. So the principle of this is very simple. We will be creating a connection from the cloud A, which was deployed in AWS, to a global network, and then connect the Azure deployed VNet, VNet to the same exact global network. So first we gotta start modifying our cloud A configuration. Of course, this assumes that you had done the module one of this guide. And because we haven't used a global network yet, we'll create a new one for this guide so called guide demo arcadia and because this is a virtual network type global we'll be able to leverage it to connect the two sites so let's complete that creation make sure that the right virtual network is selected for our cloud a click continue and apply and then we're done now we need to do the same thing for the azure vnet site let's find the cloud c deployment that we just did earlier and add it to the same global network connection as we did for cloud A. As expected, the configuration is under networking config, just as we did for cloud A. Uh, let's make sure to toggle the advanced fields uh, in order to see the global networks to connect to. And here we'll select that same network that we created in a previous step. Note that the global networks as well as sites are system level objects meaning they are shared across multiple namespaces. Now that we have configured this connection, the two sites can talk to each other. And it also means that if we were to go back to our core application deployment and hit refresh, our coming soon for the quick money transfer is gonna be replaced with the actual widget and the transfer history showing that the connection between the two sites is working. Great, we were able to successfully connect two cloud deployments in this module, as well as three cloud deployments across all of the three modules with a working application. Now to see some telemetry info, we can go under site networking and see very detailed information on the traffic flows between our different sites. You can see the total data sent, the top applications used, latency, throughput, etc. And we can get detailed information about the tunnels between the regional edges and custom edges, which are the cloud deployments that we have just done filtered by our project cloud. We can see all of them are up and running. And finally, you can see detailed inf information about the each interface for in terms of throughput and the state. Finally, we have been able to successfully connect multiple sites through HTTP load balancers and layer three load balancers to give our distributed application maximum performance and reliability. Well done. We have reached the end of our guide and have a working application. Good job. Should you have any questions or issues, raise one through the GitHub repository and we'd be happy to assist. Thank you.